Yes. I did get the perp. The perp is right here. The perp's name is Teddy, and he was caught stealing from Build-A-Bear. Yeah. Yeah, he was the one that was in all the damn cotton. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta film a vlog. Yeah, I gotta film a vlog. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye, Captain. Bye. Oh. You caught me in the middle of my police work. Or better yet, filming for my police station video. But we have a vlog t to do. Because it's Monday. Okay, guys, kind of hope you uh, found that intro a little funny. That intro it, I did while filming my build that I'm starting on tonight, which is Saturday night. That is the build of the police station. Is that right? Yes. That's the uh, modular building that's still current. I think, yeah, they still sell it. So I hope you found that, that intro a little stupid, a little funny updates guys well there really isn't anything new it's 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 Easter weekend so this video is going to be super fast and super uh, quick so updates for one there could be a changing tide with the channel and as far as that means that means I might I might be going out and looking for a job again guys just a dead-end job but you know it's a job nonetheless and the reason I might be looking into getting another shit job or a dead-end job is because I had two-thirds of my student loan debt wiped out overnight in 2019 I took part of a lawsuit um, by accident I basically wrote the loan company you know, the government loan company, whatever you call it. And I said, I'm no longer paying these loans. I'm paycheck to paycheck. And all this is doing is making it harder for me to take care of my family. I'm not doing it no more. Sorry. Come after me. Take take my driver's license. Screw me over. Kill me. I, I'm done. I would rather be dead than to make another student loan payment to you guys. I got frauded on my school. And because I got frauded... I cannot make the money I was promised when I took out that loan. I was in a different place back in 2014 when that happened. When I filed to never pay again, a few months goes by and right before my forbearance fell through again, I got a letter in that said, you're now part of a class action lawsuit. So I guess uh, enough people stood up to these uh, fraudulent schools that they went after, I think, the Department of um, Education or something. And as a result, a lot of these student loans uh, went into class action lawsuits. And now it's taking about four years um, that the lawsuits has been going. And for the last four years, my student loans have been on a hold or a forbearance until the lawsuit clears up. And in February, I got an email in that says, you won the lawsuit, or we won the lawsuit. So, yay! Then now, just on Friday, they sent me, you know, details on a refund check, and they sent me details that, that say, you know, you've been cleared of two-thirds. You know, there is an amount, but I'm keeping all of that stuff private. If I announce any changes of me getting a job, then that could for surely come with the territory of reduced filming schedules for the channel. Because I don't know what it's going to be like if I get a job and I try to do a channel. I could tell you, the way I'm going at it, I spend, a, you know, anywhere from 14 hours to... You know, I would say six to 14 hours a day in this studio every single day doing something to try to make something of this. So if my whole entire day and then some change is in this room, then that means that's going to have to go down to allow me to at least work six to eight hours a day on a job. So just so you guys know, you know, like I, I had a massive breakthrough. We did great on this case. It took four years. 
So enough about student loans and debt forgiveness and all that. You know, I'll show you a couple things that I, you know, did and um, we'll be out of here. I mean, it's Easter weekend. I'm not going to sit here and talk and talk and talk and just try to just try to make something. I only want to talk about something if stuff happened. So let me turn you around and I'll show you some stuff. So starting off, this is a build coming out on Thursday, guys. Check, you know, if you want to see this build, this is the Elvis Ultimate Art. Check it out. It's coming out on Thursday. And today, uh, well, not today, but yesterday, I hung it here in the studio. So now it's safe. It was sitting on, on my floor and my mom's cat was getting ready to knock it over and break it. So that wasn't going to fly. And then next up, we got another light up there. Finally, we got another light. So now that brings down more light into this corner. So when I film over here, it's not so bad. So yeah, did that. I also, I don't know if I announced it, but I kind of got my Funkos all rearranged again, allowing that new uh, Luke Skywalker to pop up in there. Pretty cool. The Lego City has builds. Nothing new. Like I said, that's just a bunch of horse shit that keeps happening. On the 11th of April, it'll be three weeks since it shipped. And if it's not in by that time, I'm just going to give up. Wait 10 more days, then I'm going to file a, a complaint. Today, we built these sets for my... So we built these sets for my mom today. We have Singapore. Pretty cool. Lots of color, really awesome. That is a 827 piece set. It does come in at, let me see. Yeah, it comes in at 112 steps and 97 pages. So it's pretty modest. It was only like five bags. Did take me about two hours to do it. Lots of small little pieces. Then I got this goofy little bastard. I guess this was a promo that ran. And we got this in. And then I got it built today. It's kind of cool because when you push it... Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, there it goes. Better watch out, Draco. It's going to get you. So, yeah. I built that, to, that today. That's also for my mom. We finished watching the Harry Potter uh, movies today, the Deathly Hollows Part 1, yet last night and Part 2 today. So now I'm all caught up on the movies. Man, those movies got crazy. Started off as a kid and then you went into having adult problems. Ain't that a bitch. Always happens. And then the, down there is the police station that I said that we were filming when I did that tacky intro. And then we're back, guys. So, Easter weekend. Nothing going on. No Lego parts from, from Denmark. Like I said, I'm going to file a complaint in 10 days from Tuesday. I'm tired of this crap of waiting. We did two builds, and we hung Elvis, and then we also hung the Great Wave down in my kid's hallway inside of the house. Great Wave's coming out at the end of May as a uh, filler video that I'm doing. No big deal there. So... I'm going to go and start working on the police station and get that going. And that will be the build for you on um, Tuesday. So tomorrow when this comes out. So guys, thank you for watching. And I hope this um, wasn't too boring or, uh, or lame or overly personal. I just like to let you guys know what's going on. And, you know, losing two thirds of your um, student loan debt could you know it it is life changing and it could make changes to the channel that for now is a sacrifice and for later it's a gift so pretty cool so on that thank you for watching enjoy your i hope you guys all had a great easter and i hope you all have a good one and check out tomorrow's video the, the police station thank you for watching